is another cool design for the four leg bot motor can be mounted at the end for controlling the robot i am using the aluminum plate drilling holes to the vertical drill machine for mounting all the components on it this is basically the chassis of our robot I am using 200 rpm motor. It costs almost 350 rupees in the market, and uh, I am going to assemble it with this warm gear. This is how it looks with the motor and the warm assembly with the chassis. Here the holes for mounting the clamps in it with the spur gears will be mounted. I am using the two spur gear for the robot. Holes are made at the same position for mounting the pipes. These pipes can be electric pipe or the PVC pipes. So it requires four clamps, two clamps for each per gear. We require two long two-sided bolts. These bolts will get inside your per gear and act as a shaft for them. We require four bolt and nut assembly for mounting the clamps. This is how it looks after assembling everything. Looks great. So you require the two electric pipes. So these pipes are used for the electric wires. I have drilled the holes in it by using the solder iron. And uh, you require some zip ties and. Mount the both of the pipes at the same angle so that there is no stability issues in the robot. You require 400 rpm DC geared motor. This is the reducer motor and the four wheels for it. One, two, three, four wheels. Boom. Four wheels you require. I am using the glue gun for attaching the motor to the bike. Connect the left side motor and the right side motor in the parallel way separately. It will look like this. I am using three DPT to switch from a robot. One switch for the left side, another for the right, and the third for the wheel spread motor. This is the input for the supply. After all the connection, it looks like this. I think it looks great. I think you enjoy learning this. Hit the like button if you love this and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Keep learning and keep exploring.